In the 2020.4 release of Tableau, we now see the Tableau Embedding API version 3. Um, this new API allows you to um, put your Tableau dashboards into your own custom web applications. Um, this is the third iteration of this API. Um, it's one of Tableau's oldest APIs as well. And as I said, it allows you to put Tableau into um, web applications and then allows um, the web application to communicate with the Tableau dashboard and, and vice versa. Now with this um, version three, um, there's like a, a major change. Um, we see a few new things. Um, first of all, this new embedding API version three uses um, the web um, components. Uh, web components are kind of a standard across modern browsers. Um, and they allow you similar to other elements in, in HTML, like your header tag, your image tag, or your link tag, to, to also create your own custom um, tag. So in this instance, we now have a Tableau this um, component. So um, it's going to be a lot easier to um, quickly get up and running with um, this API. Also, uh, what is changing is there's gonna be one method of um, implementing this API. Uh, previously, and if you've seen some of my other videos, um, you uh, see that there's the uh, quick way of quickly going to the share options and copy paste the embed snippet. But then there's also the, the longer um, option of using Tableau's JavaScript API. Now this version 3.1 is still the JavaScript API, but soon also when you copy the embed script, um, you will be leveraging this new uh, Viz component. Um, hasn't been enabled yet, but that will happen in the future. Now there is also a third element that's really interesting with this um, with this particular um, API, and that is the, the new way of, of doing authentication and, and how to work with embedded uh, views. Um, I'll do a separate video on, on, on that and, and how that all works. Uh, today I wanna quickly go into um, this new API, show something in the code, and um, also show what the difference is with the uh, current approach. So um, what I have here on the left-hand side, I have a, um, a little HTML page um, running. Um, we have a, a JavaScript file and, and some CSS, uh, which um, should show up here. So we have the Tableau embedding API. We need to uh, put the vis over there. So um, what I'm gonna do um, is I already have um, this kind of dashboard, which I uh, use a lot when we do um, embedded analytics, also. Uh, internal teaching um, and if you go to um, a uh, Tableau um, dashboard there's always kind of the the share options um, actually they're over here now um, if we click on share we get the, uh, the options here and this is still the current implementation so if I um, basically if I um, copy the embed snippet here and I put that where I'm saying the this here this is still the old way, so version one actually. Uh, if I save that, go back to my web page, we can see it starts rendering this particular dashboard in the page. Now that's version one, we can see there's lots of code going on and, and lots of things happening. It's um, running in some JavaScript here. Now in version three, this is a lot easier. So if I go back a few steps, um, hit save, this should um, re-render. Um, this uses the uh, Tableau Viz component. Um, now, if we go and uh, the first thing that we need to do is we need to load this um, version three of the API. And we load that by putting a, um, a script tag in um, the body element of the page. And what we're loading here is a um, ES6 module. So you need to give it a type of module. So then the web browser knows how to kind of interpret this particular file. Um, now the next step that we need to do is uh, bring in the Tableau this component. So um, let's actually just copy uh, this bit over and um, let's replace uh, this element here. And here we can see this is the actual Tableau this component. 
we give it an ID, which um, you can use later when you want to use this in your JavaScript. Um, and then there's one element that we need to fill in first, which is the, the source tag. Uh, we also see this, um, for example, when you use the image component in or the, the image tag in HTML, we have a source. You need to point it at a particular location. So if I hop back into um, this thing and now we go to the link and we replace kind of this placeholder. Uh, we don't actually need all of that. So if we replace that and now we go to the actual dashboard, what we'll see it, it re-renders the page and now it has brought in this um, dashboard again. Um, a lot easier, only um, just a few lines of code and we have this, this kind of custom component now. It's pretty neat. So um, if we hop back into the, the element, uh, oh, sorry, the, the instructions, uh, we can see we can also customize this particular component. So we can, for example, um, bring in um, some of these um, options. So we can say, um, let's actually set the, um, under source, we can set in the device and then we can set the device to say desktop and we can set the toolbar equals to, let's actually put the toolbar at the top so you can see what it's doing. And now if we, the page re-renders, what we'll see is that it um, brings in those properties. So the actual toolbar goes to the top and uh, the device in this instance is then um, a desktop. So that's all pretty neat. Um, actually, let's just change these, this toolbar to bottom. Uh, never really seen a Tableau dashboard with a <laughs> toolbar on the top. Um, so uh, that's kind of the, 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 the whole um, V3, kind of the basic setup is um, load the CDN, uh, load the, the JavaScript module from the CDN, then bring in the uh, new web component, and then you can set properties in that, uh, in that component. Uh, one thing to mention here is um, you either need to load it via the CDN or via a Tableau server that's running under HTTPS. Okay. Um, now the documentation itself goes a little bit deeper into the different ways of, of accessing it. Um, and currently, as I said, this is only for 2021.4 and and uh, and later. So if you watch this in the future, um, um, you should uh, you should be good. Um, now we can also um, kind of filter things here. So we can filter this particular dashboard if we want to. So imagine we have these regions here. Imagine when the page loads, we wanna, we wanna filter this. Um, so for that, they've created this new thing called the this um, filter element. And we need to specify a field. In this space, we wanna filter the field of region. So we wanna basically filter this whole dashboard to only the region central, for example. So we set field to region, um, and then we need to set the value of this filter um, to, uh, let's do that to central. And then we need to close this thing off. And now it should re-render the page, and we can see that, um, for example, we can see that it's now central area of Europe, but also the, the filter over here has changed to, to central. So there's this way of, of bringing in uh, filters. Um, so pre, um, pre the page has loaded and pre the dashboard has been has ready. So you can apply those, those filtering elements. Um, so that's, um, that's a nice um, little um, uh, thing. Now, if we want to get access in our JavaScript to this uh, Tableau Viz, uh, we can also do that. Um, so if we go into JavaScript, um, we can, for example, create a variable. And we now do that with the document.getElement by ID, um, because we've now specified an element, uh, sorry, an ID here called Tableau Viz. So if we then, um, basically we say let this equals document.element, by ID, and now we can do things here. So we could, um, for example, um, you could check if um, the, the, the viz is ready. So if we do this dot um, add event listener, and um, we want to do that on, I think it's first interact 
interactive. And then we can say this is ready. And if we open up the uh, browser console, what we then see is um, when this uh, thing is ready, you can now see, hey, it logs this message. So um, we can also, we also get access to the event itself. Um, so it's an asynchronous event. So um, this is the event and we can listen for the event, I think the event.type. So then when it re-renders, we'll see that the page loads, the dashboard loads, and now we should see that um, once it's ready, yep, this is ready, and we're listening to the event of first interactive. Um, so yeah, um, this has changed. So if you are um, currently using the uh, second version of the Tableau embedding API, Tableau has released a, a migration guide. So um, it's a nice uh, page that explains you the steps you need to take from going to embedding version two to embedding version three. And if you currently are using the method that I demonstrated in the beginning by copying the embed snippet, then um, you can leverage uh, basically the instructions that I just gave you, um, but just use that Tableau this um, component. Okay. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm pretty excited about this, uh, this new version three. Um, and I'll do another video in the future about um, the different um, way of doing authentication and authorization on this uh, web component. And that's especially interesting for uh, those that use um, Tableau Online, because with Tableau Online, it becomes a whole lot easier to do uh, embedding now. But I'll do that in, a, in the next video.